All right, guys, welcome to the third episode of Invested Climber. Uh, today we're presenting on what type of shoe for all of us wear. So we have neutral shoes, moderate shoes, and uh, more aggressives. And uh, each one of us is going to be explaining uh, the benefits of one over the other. And later on, we'll do a follow up video. So keep on looking out for that footage. Uh, we're going to be talking more in depth about the different types of aggressive shoes versus moderate shoes versus neutral shoes and which kinds are best for certain routes. Um, this is NT, this is Colin. Logan over there is doing the camera. Uh, with that said, uh, we'll go ahead and let NT start off uh, with our first presentation. Thanks, guys. Everyone, this is Logan. Logan's <laughs> here. Logan, what's up, buddy? Hey, everyone. So I'm NT, and I think for the shoe video, the first thing that you have to really consider is how does the shoe form and fit for your foot and does it feel comfortable, is it secure, and you know, is it going to help you in your style of climbing. There's different nuances that go with every shoe, everything from like uh, your laces to uh, what type of strap it has, where it ties off, and how downturned or neutral or moderate the shoe is. But yeah, uh, what you, uh, one thing you really need to look for regardless of the aggressiveness of the shoe is just how well it fits to your foot personally. So regardless of what type of shoe you, you want, you do need to go try it on and make sure you're going to enjoy that specific shoe. Also, ha I had this experience where uh, I tried on my right, my right shoe and I based my whole decision on buying that shoe on how it fit my right foot and then I realized that that shoe was terrible for me because my left foot would act, wouldn't actually fit. So try both shoes. <laughs> and try climbing in them for just a few minutes if you can. I mean, with me, my, my biggest thing, my first pair killed my foot. So like, I didn't know if I should have something that hurts real bad or something that shouldn't hurt because everybody said it should hurt a tad to where you know they're tied up and not slipping. So my problem was I got something that was really comfortable but it was way too loose because I was making it like my tennis shoe instead of a climbing shoe. Mm. So my problem was I'd take my back and get a smaller size because I was in here with my shoe fall off at the time the first couple months of climbing. Yeah. And my, yeah. Uh, my mentality getting into climbing was I want the most aggressive thing out there so I can really uh, just do the very best right from the start. And that backfired on me. I'd get a shoe that was too small and instead of being snug on my foot, it actually crunched my toes up and became almost unwearable. So I ended up having to get a much less aggressive pair of shoes. I just couldn't use those until uh, one, I needed a large size, and two, I really needed to uh, ease my way into using a more aggressive shoe. Great guys, yeah. I think we're good to start on introducing the shoes. Uh, we have a good collection here. Everyone here owns one of these pairs, so we'll be talking about the ones that we wear. So we can start off with Logan, so we'll go from left to right. Alright, so uh, I've only ever climbed in solutions other than Merton Shoes and Gym. I've never had anything else. I've never tried five tens or any other pairs. It's always just been solutions. And when I was getting my first pair, I wanted something that was like as moderate as can be because I wasn't used to a shoe. Like even a gym shoe killed my foot at first. So I wanted something as flat as it can pretty much be. And I wanted a lace up shoe because my foot's really skinny. There's a so it slip easy for me, so I want something I can get as tight as I can get on my foot. Did you think that the laces form better to your foot as opposed to using straps? For me personally, for sure. I mean, if I can go back and my aggressive pair had laces, I would I would definitely do it. Just like I said, my, I'm stuck, my foot's so skinny, it's hard for me to get some of the tight. But it does suck having to unlace them every single time. You know, take your shoes off every five minutes. I just noticed my laces started getting damaged easier. I mean, because I'm taking them on and off so much. I mean, my laces went out in a couple months. But I mean, for the first half of the year, it was all I climbed in, and I loved them because I mean, they're good for in here. I can wear them the whole time. They didn't come off. Are you actually filming? Yeah. Yeah, you ruined it. No, I, mean, you're good. I don't want for free. You ready? Send it. All right, so the only thing I've ever climbed in is Solutions. I've never had any other brand of shoes, but I've only had two pair of shoes. Do you mean La Sportiva? Oh, <laughs> first time, I first time too. Well, I've only ever had La Sportiva. It's never anything else. Just because when I was going to buy my shoe, I went to Ariana's. That was pretty much all we had to choose from for me. So my first pair, I wanted something as moderate as I can get with a flat foot that wouldn't even kill my foot because I wasn't used to a shoe. So my first pair was the Tarantula Lace, hence the lace-up part, which I like because I wasn't used to a climbing shoe that was something to kill my foot at first. There's, there's, a, there's a big thing with climbers, and it, I guess people are divided on this, whether they want to get lace or 
uh, the straps because they might not form to your foot as well. So that's that's usually the, your first question, like, what am I going to pick? Am I going to go for a type of lace that it might take a little bit longer to, to put on and put off, especially if you're doing indoor climbing, uh, or am I going to go with a lace up that I can take on and off really quickly? Yeah, that's, that's the biggest downfall is, especially when I'm not used to the shoe taking off every five minutes, gets pretty annoying and tiring and wears your laces out, it's going to wear the shoe out immediately, at least it wore mine out pretty quick. But for the first half year, I mean, that's all I ever used and all I climbed in, I mean, but I never climbed outside, so it's all in here, so they held up pretty well for me. But then I knew whenever I got, I guess, better, quote unquote, because I still probably ain't good at climbing. <laughs> but whenever I got better, I wanted more aggressive shoes. So I went to a solution because Jeffrey had some, and I got to wait. He let me wear them one time. I was like, I got to get some like that. <laughs> and I've liked mine so far. They took forever to used to being aggressive as it is. I mean, that was one of the most aggressive one I could find at the store at the time at REI. But my only problem with these is being aggressive like that, my foot's really flat footed. Like just to begin with, I don't really have an arch in my foot, so like I'm always having air in my ankle. I mean, no matter how tight I get them, no matter what, my ankle still slips in it. But I mean, that's just part of it. You know, skinny foot, flat foot. But I mean, I would, I would recommend solutions. I mean, for me, I've always liked the Lost Two. Doesn't really like my solutions a lot. And that's really all I wear, unless I just wanted to like traverse the whole time and be comfortable. Then I wear the, the tarantula laces. On a scale of zero to ten, how would you rate each shoe? I mean, as far as beginner shoe, I feel like this is probably like a good seven. I mean, like I said, mine's lasted over a year now. I don't wear them as much as I used to, but mine's has uh, getting a tiny little tear. But I mean, they've lasted well, and they've helped me to get, I guess, better and used to shoes. And then the solution, as far as climbing, I would give it like an eight or nine. But as far as like comfort comfort i mean we'll put it more on a four yeah I'm, yeah, 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 yeah it's probably at least it's like a four maybe five because now i'm used to mine which to be fair a four is not too bad yeah, for it's not too bad shoe. Sure, like no. four I, I, is more comfortable the first time i was walking man, i was like a dang king when you, i could barely walk in the thing it's like i would have to take them off to walk two feet but now i'm getting used to them the that's side. another thing i want to bring up between moderate and uh more aggressive shoes is typically the rubber on a neutral or moderate shoe is going to be a harder rubber. That means that you get a lot less traction on the wall and you can't climb uh, quite a small, onto quite a small foothold or smear quite as well. But what that also means is the shoe's going to last a lot longer. So it takes a long time, especially for this toe region to wear out. Whereas when you get into more aggressive shoes like these, it's a really soft rubber. It gives you great climbing ability but it's gonna wear down really quickly and, and you'll notice it. You start moving around on that toe and it goes away very quick. And that's one reason I recommend starting with a moderate or even neutral shoe opposed to an aggressive. You gain skill uh, over time and your footwork becomes better. As that footwork becomes better, you do a lot less twisting of your toes and therefore you can make these uh, more aggressive shoes last longer. Whereas if you're new to it, you'll wear through them very quickly. I feel like if I had started with the aggressive shoe, I probably would have quit climbing because they hurt so bad. <laughs> like if I didn't know they were going to, if I was just now starting and getting a shoe like that and hurt that bad, and they weren't expecting, I probably wouldn't have come back. I agree with them. These are my, uh, neutral, my uh, neutral shoes. I wear them so much more than my aggressive sometimes just because these really, really hurt my toes. And I probably have the ugliest toes you'll ever see. The you can pretty disgusting. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I, so another thing to take into consideration is how your form fits inside the shoe. Um, a lot of people will tell you to go down half a size, a size, or something like that. Uh, the way I've picked my shoes so far has been how does my toe fit on, in the toe box? So the first thing is you don't really want your, your toes to be curled up. You do want them to be tight enough so that they're uh, compact in the toe box and once you're putting pressure on a hold, uh, your foot is not moving around. And you need to think if they're gonna wear socks or not, because some weirdos wear socks. And they don't wear really. socks, guys. I'm the, the only, only one. one. <laughs> 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 right. Some like it. So nasty, you know, they're trying to cover it up. Some just like it dirty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So. That's not going in the video. <laughs> I don't know, um, man. I'm editing it. So. <laughs> I, I was, was going to say, like, pros and cons for me, for laces versus straps. 
I like starting with the lace because I wanted to get as tight as uh, tied around with my foot as I could, and I feel like with the straps, you I couldn't get it fully at least tight for me and my ankle and stuff. And then of course the con is it takes forever to put on and off when you're climbing. You don't want to sit there and unlace them a hundred times a day, so it does get kind of old and the laces wear out easy. Yeah, so, so between the two, if you're going to be doing more indoor climbing, uh, likely a strap is going to be better because you're going to be switching between routes a lot quicker as opposed to outdoors where you're going to be doing longer routes or you're going to be staying on one same route for longer, which you don't really need to take off your shoes uh, as much. So lace might work better there. But again, at the end of the day, how does it fit? Uh, on your on your feet is it are the laces or the straps good enough to hold your foot in place while you're climbing and your foot is not slipping around and inside the machine for me i've actually always done straps i've tried some of the laces and i will admit they do fit to my foot better but i'm a convenience kind of person and uh typically when you're on a uh, a more moderate shoe they're more comfortable so you could leave them on for a longer period of time so laces make sense there but but I'm just so lazy. I do straps everywhere, and they the, they work really well if it's a shoe that fits you really well. I agree with Colin. All mines are Velcro. This one, this one, Velcro. This one, Velcro. All Velcro. I hate Velcro. laces. I'm very lazy. Velcro. So here's a set of neutral shoes, and this is typically what people begin with when they're starting to boulder or rock climb. Uh, the biggest thing with a starter shoe is how comfortable is it? Is this something that I'm going to use every time I climb? Like we're here to have fun, we're here to enjoy ourselves, so what's going to help me do that? Uh, I find that a good neutral shoe is going to be pretty flat, pretty comfortable, and one of the main differences is this downturn. So you see how this is pretty flat, and if you compare it to a moderate shoe, which has a slight downturn, or an aggressive shoe which has a pretty big downturn it's gonna play a big role into how comfortable that is so another thing about moderates is they are gonna be pretty flexible this part on the shoe is gonna be able to bend and flex which means that it might not give you as much support but again it's gonna make for a comfortable shoe another thing to keep in mind is that neutral shoes will have harder rubber that means that they won't wear down as quickly as something like an aggressive shoe which Really, when you're starting to learn rock climbing and bouldering, it means that your shoe is gonna last a lot longer and you're gonna get a lot more bang for your buck. And remember to like, comment, subscribe, smash that like button. <laughs> so NT just did a good uh, introduction on what a neutral shoe is like. So the progression of that is I'm going to speak about moderate shoes. They fall directly in between the neutrals and the aggressive shoes. Um, basically in every way. So as far as the first feature, the downturn of them, you have a little bit more downturn towards this toe and that gives you a little bit of benefit on gripping. As you get to more overhanging or even completely vertical stuff opposed to slab, that downturn allows you to grab onto these, uh, these features more easily and then they often become a little more stiffer and uh, harder to bend, which gives you uh, the ability to apply more pressure through your foot and actually uh, be more active and powerful through movements. And sometimes they'll even include some features on the heel so that you can do tricks like uh, heel hooks to uh, do specialty moves in certain situations where they're necessary. Um, additionally, the rubber on these shoes is much uh, more soft than on most uh, neutral shoes, which means it is gonna wear faster, but not nearly as fast as something like an aggressive shoe. So that gives you the benefit of some last, and these will not wear out right away. So as you're still uh, learning your technique and you are still moving your foot around a little bit more, um, you're gonna uh, wear through these faster than a neutral, but it will give you more longevity to the shoe. Uh, one other feature is that they tend to be a bit tighter on your foot. So as far as the comfort level, again, it's a good in-between between the neutrals and the super aggressive shoes. Uh, they will feel tight. You may want to take them off after a few climbs, but the neutrals you can wear all day and the aggressives you're going to rip them off after every single climb you do. These you can keep on for, for a good while before you have to take them off, which is really nice. But they, they really grip around your heel, grip around the, uh, the midsole, and allow a lot more feel of the actual route.
I told you, that's the thing. It's like I get camera shot. I don't know what to say. Logan, you gotta get in the camera too. Don't worry, it's not on. Oh, it's uh, not. We're just practicing, dude. Yeah, so, it's just practice. All right, you, you wanna you wanna start the intro? Or you want me to? Yeah. And do an Andre scream. <laughs> Andre, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again for watching everyone. Remember to smash that like button, comment below, subscribe to our channel. We'll go ahead and leave some uh, links to the shoes that we like to wear down below. And thanks so much. Climb on everyone.